We're talking about the James Webb Space Telescope, you see? Yeah, the images were released this week by NASA mm -hmm. and the partners. You've been talking yeah, a lot about this. Yeah, yeah they're, they're so pretty. Let's take a look at some of these images, guys, if you haven't seen them. They've been everywhere uh, on the Internet and on TV. The full-color images show a jumble of distant galaxies going deeper into the cosmos than we've ever seen before. The images are so good because of Webb's power, its distant location from Earth, about a 1 million miles away from Earth, in fact, and it uses the infrared light spectrum. I spoke with a scientist with the European Space Agency, and she says there's still so much more to learn and see. I think these images really show that we've, we've only really scratched the surface of what this observatory can do. Uh, we, we looked at targets that we knew would be absolutely stunning, but there's going to be so many surprises um, just from because we're looking at the universe through such a different eye and such a powerful eye. It's going to give them questions that they don't even know to ask at this point. Uh, the Webb telescope replaces the outdated Hubble telescope, which was already looking back as far as 13.4 billion years. Astronomers measure how far back they look in light years, with one light year being, okay, you're ready for this, it's a big number here, 5.8 trillion mm. Miles. With the trillion miles. So we're looking back hundreds of billions of years into space and, and not quite to the beginning of at least time, but I mean, we're getting really far back. It's been yeah. a minute, right? Yeah. And this is a case where they have so much information, more than they can even mm -hmm. start to decipher. It, they're just going to take yes. it a piece at a time, I guess. Some of these pictures that they were releasing is if you were to take, originally I said a, a grain of rice, but it's, it's really a grain of sand. Yeah. And you were to hold that out at an arm's length, and that grain of sand represents the part of the sky that those images are. So if you consider that and then everything else around the sky. That is perspective for you right That's there. It, it's 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 hard wow. to, to wrap your mind around. It really is. I promise I'll download the greatest hits, but hey, you know what? We don't know what we don't know, and that's what you just pointed out right there, Grant. Yeah. Oh, exactly right. Yeah, the more you learn, the more questions you have, and then the more you learn. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Good stuff.